Hey guys, it's Meredith here with the baking um, holiday baking page kit. Um, and first, let me show you what you're going to get in your kit. Um, let me explain this month's page kit is a little different than most months. Um, when I was creating this kit, I wanted it to be able to go either more towards a Christmas vibe or a Thanksgiving vibe. So I put in elements for that kind of coordinated color wise, but that had different icons. Some are more Christmassy, some are more Thanksgiving-esque. Um, so when I'm making this, this process video, the first layout that I'm gonna make is gonna be the Christmas layout, okay? And I'm gonna use the white card stuff that comes in my kit for that. Then I'm gonna make a whole nother set of double page layout. It's, it's gonna be like the identical design, but using different papers and embellishments from this kit to make a Thanksgiving theme layout. So depending on which one you're interested in making along, that's the part of the video you're gonna watch. Now, if you want to make both of these, so the Christmas double page and the Thanksgiving double page, you are gonna need to pull two sheets of white cardstock out of your stash to make that second set because we only give you enough white cardstock to make the Christmas or the Thanksgiving set. But the papers, there is plenty of both papers, you know, to make both because I only used one kit when I was making making this and making the video. So I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, if you have questions, ask them. But with that, let's get, go on and tell you what's in the kit. The first thing you're gonna get is an entire roll of this Red Baker's Twine. I already took mine out of the package. I cannot remember what brand it is. It is in the listing on our website. Um, you can tell what brand it is. But I took it off to make these layouts and I threw it away and forgot to save the packaging. Um, you're going to get a simple stories, bits and pieces, what's cooking ephemera pack. And this ephemera pack has more of the fall looking like Thanksgiving theme looking ephemera and embellishments in it. Okay. So that's where, that's why we're going partially with this what's cooking line. You're also going to get the simple stories, hearth and holiday foam stickers. There's 26 stickers. And as you can tell, these are a little more of like that Christmassy vibe. Okay. So you're going to use more of these on your Christmas layout. Um, you'll see when I, when we get there and then we've got this warm and cozy alphabet set and it's, um, from thickers, 146 pieces. And the great part about this is it's two tone letters like reds and greens. So, and both colors kind of look good with both, with all the supplies for fall or Christmas. So we're gonna use a little bit of both on each layout. And then let me go through what papers you're gonna get. This Baking Spirits Bright tags. Um, as you could tell, it's Baking Spirits Bright. It's a Christmas line, but we are gonna use some of these tags, especially this side for the more fall line. As you could tell, these colors coordinate really well with the ephemera even though they're Christmas. So I kind of like doing that a lot, um, using supplies, you know, stretching them, thinking outside of the box, so I'm not boxed in. And then the next page we have is Baking Spirits Bright Homemade Holidays. And again, this side looks fairly Christmassy, but this side is great for this more of a Thanksgiving vibe. Okay, which is exactly why I picked the papers that I picked. And we've got another piece from Baking Spirits Bright Simple Stories. This one is journaling elements. And as you could tell, these are Christmassy. They have little Christmas things, but a lot of them are very neutral and can be used for, you know, any kind of baking. So I'm going to use some of these on the Thanksgiving page too. Like we're going to fussy cut some of them. Whoops. And then the journaling elements, again, very Christmassy, but as you could tell, like this one right here, there's nothing on there that's screaming Christmas at me. So I make these work really well um, for us doing a not Christmas theme layout. Like that isn't really necessarily Christmas theme, neither is that. Okay. Uh, the next paper is from the Simple Stories What's Cooking line. It's called Lick the Spoon. And this is the line that is the more fall line that they just came out with this year. So that's the A side and that's the B side. But as you could tell, the colors still match really well with all of these other papers. Okay. And then the last piece of pattern paper is from What's Cooking. And it's called Seconds Please by Simple Stories. And as you could tell, this is not very Christmas looking at all. 
And actually, we don't even use this sheet on the Christmas layout, but we do use it a lot on the Thanksgiving fall layout. And then your two sheets of white cardstock. So that's what you're gonna get in your kit. And then you're gonna follow the cut guides that come with your kit. Um, there's a page of instructions that come with your kit. They're gonna tell you how to cut these papers and it's gonna tell you how to cut them in a way so that if you want to make both the Christmas and the Thanksgiving, it will work. Just follow those cut guides. If you don't wanna make both, you're gonna be cutting, making some extra cuts here. So you might wanna watch the video first and see what you need for the layout if you'd only wanted to make one of them. And I just thought that was cool. I hope it's not more confusing, but I think you'll like it that you can do like dual duty with this kit. So I'll see you in a few minutes after I get all my papers cut. Alrighty guys, I'm back and I have cut apart all my papers and a couple instructions that do not show on your cutting guides is you're gonna want, want to cut all these tags. It was a whole sheet of tags. You're gonna wanna just cut them all apart. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, and then this piece right here. So you're gonna use some of these elements on the back and fussy cut them and some of the cards. So let me show you what I use to make. Now I'm gonna show you here, I made two double page layouts from this kit. So, um, so I used a lot of pieces because I made two double page layouts. If you're just making the one double page layout, like either the Thanksgiving one or the Christmas one, you're not gonna use as much as what I used here, but I'm gonna show you what I cut and which layout I used it on, okay? So I cut this far strip off first. Okay, and then I cut these apart. This first card I used on my Christmas layout, okay? It mats a picture. This little note I used on my Thanksgiving layout. I'm gonna set those to the side. This, I believe, I fussy cut images off the back. Okay, the next strip. Let's see, I don't wanna cut anything that I'm not supposed to cut, so let me see what I did here. I'm just going to cut off these top two right now because I don't want to accidentally make a cut that I didn't mean to make. So just bear with me here. So these top two you can cut apart. This one I used on the Christmas layout and this one I also used on the Christmas layout. Okay, what other ones did I use here? Mm, I believe I used... This. The reason why I'm just not cutting everything apart at the very beginning right now is because I don't want to cut through a bunch of um, icons on the back that I might need to fussy cut. So I'm just cutting what I used. This one right here I used on the Christmas layout. Also this holly, pink holly leaf one I also used on the Christmas layout. Okay, let's see. I think I got all of them. One, two, okay. Got all of those for Christmas one. And I guess I just used this one. And, oh, I used this on the fall layout. So I must have just used those two. So the rest of these things that are on the back is what I used to fussy cut. So those are the cards that you'll have left intact because if we cut them all apart, you know, it's going to cut through images and we don't want to do that. We want to have plenty to pick from for fussy cutting. So this is what's left intact. Okay. I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to set these off to the side because that we're going to make the Christmas layout first. So if you're not making the Christmas layout, you might want to fast forward through this first section till we get to the Thanksgiving layout. So this is the Christmas baking layout. And we're gonna start with two sheets of white paper as our background. Let me get this all straight here and then I'll tell you what else we're gonna pull. Okay, so those two sheets are our background. Um, whew. You're gonna take these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tags. Those are the seven tags we use on this one. Okay, I'm gonna set them off to the side, but you can pull those seven tags. These go on this side. 
These are all our pictures, which I'll go over in just a second. And then you've got two big pieces of this. So right away, we can start out adhering these to the bottom because they go all the way to the bottom of the page. Okay, so we'll take these, get them adhered on. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is mat our photos. And again, you might wanna plan out kind of what photos you're using on each layout before you go start matting all of this if you're making all four layouts. If your pictures are the exact same configuration of mine, you're gonna be fine. But if they're a little bit different, you might wanna just do a little pre-planning at this point. So I have a three by four that's portrait orientation, two more three by fours that are portrait and one that's landscape. And then I have two four by sixes. And actually on my original layout that I made with this, these two four by sixes, I trimmed down to like three by sixes, just because there was a lot of background stuff that I didn't like in my pictures. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use four by sixes in case you're using four by sixes. But you can make them more narrow if you'd like and it will still work. Okay, all of these pictures are trimmed down a quarter of an inch off of two sides. So the three by fours are actually two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that is so you can easily mat them on these little cards. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And then the four by sixes are trimmed down ever so slightly. So it's actually um, three and three quarters inches by five and three quarters inches. Like I said, I just trimmed a quarter of an inch off of two sides of the picture. There, I had a little of the adjoining tag on there. So I wanted to trim that off. And then this three by four down here is going to get matted on this green paper. And then the rest of these pictures are going to get matted on this paper, I believe. Yep. So we're going to cut this into six four by six mats, okay? So we've got some of them we're going to mat on the A side, some of them we're going to mat on the B side. If you have different configurations of pictures that are not 4 by 6 you're going to want to cut this to fit to mat your pictures. And we're going to use three of them on the other layout and then three of them here. And actually one I've got instead of a 4 by 6 I've got two 3 by 4s So we're going to cut that. Okie doke. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead and mat this 3 by 4 photo on one of these. And then I'll mat this 3 by 4 photo on one of these. And then both of these 4 by 6s I wanted matted on the green side. But you can pick whichever side you want to mat your photos on. And I'm doing all the matting on video now so you can see exactly where all of my papers went um, since this kit is making an extra layout. Okay, so we've got our pictures matted. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take all of our tags that we have and you're gonna go ahead and trim the little white corner off the tags for all of these. Oh, I've got sticky on my scissors. And then you're gonna wanna go in with a hole punch, just like a regular quarter inch hole punch, and hole punch each of the tags. And while you're at this part, you may as well take the Red Baker's twine and tie a little bow on each tag, on each of these tags. So I got all, I have all my tags done except for one because I wanted to show you how I tied these. So I got a piece of twine that was about 12 inches long I fold it in thirds, give a little extra that I'm gonna trim off at the end. I fold it approximately in thirds. The longer you fold it, the longer the little bow will be. But 12 inches I thought was just a little bit big. So I didn't, wow, now that I'm on video, I'm not gonna be able to get this right. <laughs> um, if they just go through there, come on. Okay, so I get it, it's folded in thirds, I get it through there, and then I just tie a knot at the top, like the beginning of tying a shoe. Just that first thing. 
And then I did put some little drops of Eileen's Tacky Glue, just a little bit under both sides, so it doesn't untie because it's not super tight with just that one little knot. And then I trim off the little excess. And whew, made a mess of that one. That's how I tied the bows on all of those. Okay, so we've got the bows tied and then we have this tag. I did not tie a bow in it. What I did with this tag is I cut it right here. And I, so if you flip it over, it's got exactly where to cut it. And then I adhered it to the bottom of this tag just to add a little bit of color and pattern in on these tags when they're all laying out on the side. You'll see in a second. Okay, and then on this tag over here, this one, I did the same thing with this scrap of paper that we had left over. So, and I'm actually going to do it to a tag on the fall layout too. So we will just cut three inches off. I hope that's three inches. On the tags. And then I'm going to put it on this one. Um, you could see that the sides have a little extra space showing. It's fine because it's going to be overlapped. It doesn't need to fit exactly on the tag. Okay, because they're going to be overlapping like this. I just wanted a little bit of pattern down there. Okay, we'll save this piece for the other layout. And this piece I do not believe I put on. Okay, so now we've got everything and let's start adhering things down. We're gonna start with the pictures and start adhering them down. Um, this one is going to go about right above. It's gonna go about right there, okay? And then we're going to make this one on the other page be even with this one. So these two are even. And then everything else you can just fit in around there. This one, the tops of these two line up and this four by six sits on top. And I'm just leaving a tiny little gutter of white space in between everything. And these two three by fours will also just sit atop this four by six. All right, so that's the photos that are on there. And then we will start working on the um, tags. So I wanted the tag that has the pattern in the middle. So I will adhere it down first, kind of sticking up a little. And then I'll squeeze this one on. Um, I did make the tag go slightly off of the page, but just a tiny little, tiny little bit. Okay, so we're gonna have to trim off the page. And then this tag goes next. And this one, I'm gonna wedge underneath the pictures a little. Okay, so we've got those tags and then we'll come on this side and we'll put these tags. And again, this one is gonna go in the middle. And the other two are going to go down a bit. Again, I put this one slightly off the edge, so I'm gonna trim that. And this one I wedged slightly under the pictures. Okay. And then we've got these two guys. This one is going to go down here. This one, I need to fix it because I trimmed. You can see the other tag next to there. We're going to cut this one in half this way and cut these two little circles out because they have like half circles cut in there. So it kind of looks like a ticket 
with these circles, half circles cut out. Okay, and we're gonna wedge the top one right there. And the bottom one is gonna go down here. And we can go ahead and adhere those too. So it's okay that I'm kind of leaving a white space showing right here, because we're gonna cover it up. And that one goes like that. And then this one, just gonna stick right there. All right. So we've got this, and the next thing that we're going to do is pull out our ephemera and start grabbing the pieces of this ephemera. This is the What's Cooking ephemera. So this is not really holiday themed, but we use a bunch of these on this page. We use, um, not the mixer, let's see. Oh, eventually I'll get to some that I used. Um, I use these little pastries on the drip cooking sheet. I use, let's see, this little cocoa. There is a mixing bowl. There's a pastry. Uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. You put like frosting in it. <laughs> Anyways, you can use whichever ones in here you think match good with your layout. Oh, I did use this, this pastry bag. I used this. And I feel like that might be all that I used on this side. Um, yeah. So I just used a few on this side and then we use more, or a few on this layout and then we use more on the Thanksgiving layout. So I'll put those off to the side. So the rest of the embellishments for this are fussy cut from these pieces. So for instance, I know I used this pink mixer. Mm, where are my scissors? Right there. I used this pink mixer. So we're gonna go ahead and fussy cut this. And I just fussy cut with a little white showing around the edges. Um, we also did, I'm going to do this off camera because so you don't have to watch every single one, but let me show you which ones I grabbed. Hold on. Let me get this cut. Okay. So I already told you this mixer, this tag that I'm cutting from this piece that I'm cutting from is the tag that said cookies like this. So on the back side of it, we're going to cut the flour, the sugar, this little baking thing, we're going to cut um, this little green one right here too. Okay, so that's all from the back of that card for right now. And then we've got the back of this one and we're going to cut, let's see, this one goes on this side. We're gonna cut this pink bowl of um, cookie dough and then we're going to cut this rolling pin down here and the green little sugar right here. And let's see, I think we got a couple more things on this little area. We've got oh, off this little thing that we've already cut from this set of mixing bowls. We need to cut that out. Sorry, you went a little backwards there, I just realized. But that's missing. And then we're gonna cut out this red whisk and this pink uh, bag for the frosting. Pastry bag, sorry, I can't remember that word, pastry bag. So we'll get the red whisk, the pastry bag. We're gonna cut out Again, this flower container down here, this red one. We're also gonna cut this red sugar container out. I tried to keep all this stuff cut out from the same bottom corner in case you wanna use some of these on other layouts. And this little red container down here too. Okay. 
I think. But that's all that we fussy cut. And next we're going to start adhering these things down. So first I think before we start adhering these down, we should go to our um, Simple Stories foam stickers from Hearth and Holiday. And we're gonna cut put a few of these down. We're gonna put Tis the Season down here. And I'm not gonna push them down super hard because I wanna be able to tuck um, things under them. We're gonna put, oh, what fun, right there. And then I am gonna go ahead and do our title loosely up here so we also know where to place these because they also get kind of tucked. And the title of this page right here, I'm calling Cookie Party. And um, I'm overlapping the title onto my picture a little bit. Okay, so I've got those on and now we can start adhering all of these little bits and pieces. So kind of wedged under this, I'm gonna put the flower and this little pastry bag. I'm going to pop it up on foam tape. I pop quite a bit of, of these embellishments up on foam tape. Um, in this part, but if you don't like your pages to have a lot of dimension, just forget about the foam tape. But I popped that up on foam tape and then I put these little bowls under the C and this whisk I also popped up on foam tape. And then down here. So you might want to start laying laying these things out to make sure that they fit nice before you actually start adhering them down. Um, just to make sure that they're going to stretch across your layout correctly. Uh, and then I put this little guy flat down. I popped this set of tools up on foam tape, the kitchen utensils. And then these little measuring spoons are flat on the back of the page. And then this mixing bowl I also popped up on foam tape, the mixer. Can you overlap it? Kind of there. And the rolling pin is flat and it kind of goes up underneath. There. And then the sugar I also put on foam tape. And then at the very end of this side is when we can go with our trimmer and trim off everything that's going off the edge. So I'm just going to do that real quick right now. Okay. So there is the left side of the layout. And then now we can come in and do this side of the layout. And let's see what I've popped up here. Again, you might want to place these things down to make sure that you've got, you know, it sprawls the distance that you want it to sprawl. And of course, you have a ton of other, um, other little icons you can fussy cut if your pictures are a slightly different size than mine or it's not quite as much taking up quite as much space let's see how I did this okay I popped up the mixing bowl on foam tape and this is how I did it I just kind of laid everything out just moving things until it spread out to enough space Ooh, pastry bag is flat on the page. Oh my word. There we go. 
<laughs> and then this little sugar container is flat on the page. And then I've got a red mixing bowl that's gonna be popped up. So I can place that one right about there. And this coffee or the hot cocoa or whatever it is can go right about there. And so these two things will get foam to give them a little lift. And this guy just has the little piece. Okie dokie. And then again, we'll take our trimmer and we'll just trim down this side to get the pieces that are hanging off the side. Alrighty, so that is the Christmas baking layout. So you've done that. And the next one that I'm going to make is more of a Thanksgiving theme, but using the same supplies, but maybe B-sides of the paper, and you will see exactly what I do when we get there. So let's start on that one. It's basically going to be the same exact process, just different embellishments. I also used different sizes and orientations of photos just to give you another option. You can use the same size and orientation of photos as I used on the last one, or you can use these that I'm telling you now. So, we will start with the strips across the bottom, which are these brown ones. If you want to use the yellow side, you can also do that. But I'm going to use this brown floral all the way across the bottom. And then it's time to mat our photos. So we matted two photos on the green side, one on the red side, and we're gonna use this yellow side, or you can use the brown side, to mat your fourth photo, because on this layout, I only used four four by six photos. You do have plenty, if you use the different configuration that I used in my last layout with three by fours, you would use the same these same exact pieces, you would just cut them in half, but it's the same amount of paper that you would use to mat, okay? And you're gonna have this left and you're gonna use this. So I'll tell you where you use that in a second. So let's just get our four pictures matted. And like I said, I used four by six photos for this one. And my four by six photos are trimmed down a quarter of an inch off of two sides. So they're really three and three quarters inches by five and three quarters inches. And that way they map really nicely on the four by six pieces of paper. Okay, so we've got those. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them down. I'm gonna adhere two down a little more and two up a little higher. So they're staggered a little bit like that just to add interest to the layout. So we'll get these four adhered and I just leave a little gutter of white space, you know, on the seam and between each picture. Then you're going to do the tags the same way that you, that I showed you in the first layout. You're gonna go ahead and um, trim the two corners off of each of these tags. Oh, these are the tags you're gonna use on this page. I guess I should show you. You're gonna use this one, this one, this one. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and trim the two corners. Hole punch with a quarter inch hole punch the hole. And take your 12 inch pieces of um, baker's twine, they're 12 inches long, fold them in thirds and just tie it through here like 
the first part of tying a shoe is all it's not like a whole tight knot it's just that beginning knot put a couple little dabs of glue so it can't easily come untied so it's kind of tight and then I just trimmed the edges trimmed the ends off of the little twine okay so you're gonna go ahead and do that to all six tags and I'm gonna go off camera to do that and I will be right back alrighty so I got all my tags tied and now I am going to take like I said this little piece and I'm gonna add color to the bottom of this tag right here so I believe it's like almost two and a half inches wide close to that and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down here okay and then I'm going to take this other little piece oops where is it I already cut it I thought here it is it's not quite wide enough to cover the whole tag but it's going to be overlapped so it's fine i'm gonna just put this right onto this tag okay now we've got these um all of these um oops. these are ready to be adhered down so again we're going to take the middle one and adhere it right in the middle and then we can take these other two at a slight angle so it's going off the page a little over there you know what i'm gonna even scooch it over a little bit more and this one i'm gonna layer underneath the pictures Okay, so those three tags are on that side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The middle one. This one angled off the edge, just a tiny bit. And then this one will layer underneath the photos. Okay, next will be figuring out what embellishments to use. We are gonna use these two little stickers and just like with the other one we used on the other page, we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And half of it is gonna go there with the title. The other half is going to go down here. And then this little tag, again, we're gonna need to cut these little half circle notches out so it looks more like a tag I know it might be kind of hard to see but there are white notches in the end of there that I'm just cutting out okay and this one will just go like this and then we can go ahead and start with our ephemera so we're going to use the word home we're gonna use the little pie. We're gonna use the little plates. Um, you can of course use any of these things that you want. We're gonna use the spatula. Okay, my video. I lost you guys when I was pulling out the ephemera that we're gonna use on this kit. So basically this is what we've got. The home, the little um, oven mitt, the pumpkins, the plates, the cookbook, the salt and pepper shakers, and the pie. And on this side we cut the sugar and the fussy we fussy cut the sugar and the flour from the back of that paper we used before. And then we've got the tag, the little spices, the crock pot, families forever, the house and the spatula and the kitchen table. So we will go ahead and start adhering these things down. And I just put both of these right here and I kind of overlapped my title over the flowers of this table. 
We'll do that in a second. Um, I put this sticker right on the back. I, pop, I put the crock pot. And again, you might kind of want to lay these things out um, before adhering them to make sure you've got them in the right spots and that you don't run out of room. I put the flower flat on the back of the page. I put the house going off the edge just a tiny bit. Okay, and then the spatula I put right on the page. I popped the sugar up on foam tape. That went right about there. I popped these little spices up on foam tape. And put them down here. And then um, for my title on this side, I used the word, I also popped this little family is forever up on foam tape. But for my title on this side, I used the word tradition. Um, you could also use the word Thanksgiving because there's plenty of letters left. Um, I guess it really kind of depends on what title you used on your other page. So I'm going to use the word tradition again, but I'm going to use um, all the red letters again, but you're going to notice that when I get to the I, there's only one red eye and there's two red eyes in the word tradition. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to cut one of the other letters and turn it into an I. Let me show you what I mean. T-R-A. I'll, I'll do it for the first one. D and then we need an I, but we're gonna need two I's. So you can cut different letters. You can cut the H, you can cut the L. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the number one because I feel like that's the one I will maybe use the least. And I just cut that little thing off the one and it turns this one into another I. I got a sticker, took the sticky paper off with it. See how that works? So it, it an I is easy to make from other letters. Um, and there was T, the other I is on here. And then that was one. And the J. And then Okay, so that's the title of that page. And then you're gonna wanna take this page and trim off, trim off um, what is left hanging off of the side just a little tiny bit. You wanna just trim those bits of the tags and the house ephemera off the side. Okay, and then we can work on the other page which the word home I popped up on foam tape. So I did use foam tape for that one. And then I took from the puffy stickers, since there wasn't a whole lot on there that was not Christmas themed on these puffy stickers, I just used the word fun. You could also use some of these little asterisks because they're snowflakes, but they can they don't have to look snowflakey. So they could just be asterisks. And then we went ahead and put the rest of the embellishments down in the order that I'm gonna tell you right now. So we put the pie right there and it's also hanging off the edge a little. I put the cookbook here. I left a little space to put the salt and pepper shaker. I'm gonna pop those up on foam tape. So we've got a cookbook there. Then we've got plates under here. Kind of put the 
plates flat. And then I put the um, hot pad right about there. And then the pumpkins I popped up right there. So they get popped up as well. And that, I think I don't have any more foam tape right here. I'm just gonna put this flat down. But I did pop these guys up on foam tape in reality. Okay, and then you just have to trim off that side. So we'll do that really quick. And then this will wrap up both layouts that I made using this holiday baking page kit. And I hope you liked the kind of choice that you have here to use it for either Christmas and or Thanksgiving. And I just wanna remind you, you only have enough white paper in the kit to make one or the other. So if you're gonna make both of them, you're gonna need to pull two um, pieces of white paper from your stash to be the background of the second layout. I mean, it doesn't have to be white paper. It could be any color that you want. Um, but yeah, if you make these layouts, we would love to see them on our Not Just For Boys Kit Club um, community page on Facebook. It's a community group page. And you can see still pictures of both of these layouts at the end of the video and on the listing for this product, which will be linked in the video. And happy holidays, guys. I hope you had fun. Bye.